CQ Satellite, CQ Satellite, Kilo, X-Ray, 9, X-Ray, Rover, Kilo, X-Ray, 9, X-Ray, Rover, Echo Nancy, 2030, Gridline, QRZ. Hi, I'm Sean Kutzko, KX9X. Welcome to the fourth video in my series for DX Engineering on getting started in the amateur radio satellites. This video is the second of a two-part series on moving from the FM satellites to the linear satellites, using a portable satellite station of two Yaesu FT817s and an Aero dual-band handheld Yagi antenna. I'll be demonstrating the concepts I discussed in the first part, such as finding yourself on the satellite downlink, proper tracking of the satellite during the pass, adjusting your 70 centimeter frequency to compensate for the Doppler effect, and adjusting your antenna to compensate for polarization fading. If you need to review any of those concepts, just go watch the previous video in the series here on the DX Engineering channel. This video will be an entire XW2A linear satellite pass with video of the footprint as viewed in SAT PC32 as well as the pass prediction app GoSat Watch. Throughout the video I'll be adding captions that emphasize certain things to pay attention to. Be sure to subscribe to the DX Engineering channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of DX Engineering's great content. It'll help make you a better ham radio operator. Thanks. XW2A pass on Thursday, November 12th, 2020 at uh, 1551 Zulu, recording this for DX Engineering video. So we're waiting for the satellite, it's going to come up overhead in about one minute. It's going to go from straight north and it's going to go to the west here in central Illinois. It'll be crossing a cornfield which is nice and flat and then it will drop back down over the, uh, below the horizon approximately to the southwest. It's about a 30 degree pass so it's not too shabby. All right, satellite is over the horizon. We have acquisition of signal. Okay. 
Well, thanks for the report. It's good to hear for time I've been remote in a while. So, I'd like to change the light station 73 from the A3. You too. Uh, no, 73, thanks for the call. Uh, two hours on Saturday, Kilo X-ray, 9 X-ray, Echo November 50. Satellite, CQ Satellite, Kilo X-ray, 9 X-ray, Kilo X-ray, 9 X-ray, Echo November 50, QLZ. Whiskey Bravo 8, Papa, Foxtrot Zulu. Whiskey Bravo 8, Papa, Foxtrot Zulu. Good morning, Echo Nancy 50, Central Illinois, okay? Hey, you good. Uh, nice to work here in Cleveland today. 73, thanks for the call. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh, Kilo X-ray, Kilo X-ray, Kilo X-ray, Echo Nancy 5 Kilo X-ray, Echo Nancy 5 Echo 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 Echo
Okay, so, you know, we made a handful of QSOs from uh, Ontario to uh, Seattle, Washington, a couple of stations in uh, California. Uh, we talked to somebody in uh, uh, Echo Mike 78, I think that's uh, Kentucky, Cleveland. We talked to Houston, Texas in uh, EL29. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good pass. Uh, uh, several stations uh, covering lots of territory. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, this is a, just a, a two Yaesu 817s, a headset, and a handheld dual band Yagi antenna. Um, I've got uh, satellite tracking programs that uh, track the pass uh, so I knew where it was going to be overhead. And uh, if you notice the transmit frequency in the video, we started transmitting about uh, 10 kilohertz lower than where we ended up transmitting at the end of the pass. That is the Doppler effect in action. We, because we're transmitting on 70 centimeters, we need to constantly adjust our uh, 70 centimeter frequency and keep it aligned with the, uh, with the downlink frequency that I had chosen, which was 145.670 on XW2A. So uh, this is within the reach of all of you. All, it need, all you need is just uh, the proper equipment so that you can hear yourself on the downlink, and, uh, and you can be doing this as well. It's not difficult, it just takes a little bit of practice. In the next video, we'll take a look at how you can get on the satellites from home using gear you may already have lying around your shack. Feel free to reach out to me via email or follow me on Twitter at Sean Kutzko if I can answer any questions. Thanks for watching. 73.